So again, yeah, there is something very, very cold. And this is going to add uh, something very, very hot. So what can happen? Either the cold stuff's going to evaporate or the warmer stuff turn to ice. So I think, uh, let's see, it's become room temperature. Let's see, let's see what happens. I know uh, this is uh, Moises' favorite demonstration. Yeah, that's good. Find out right now. Okay, building up the suspense, building up the suspense. Oh, we're gonna add some more. So I was here before you. <laughs> it's less it's age before you. Even more. They're going to do ice cream. Lots of liquid nitrogen. Okay, so now we get a, a big pot full of water. Uh, lemonade. And what happens when we mix them together? When you mix them together, uh, it's going to freeze. Yeah, the water is going to... Yeah, the Hot water freeze. Will the cold stuff evaporate? Let's see. Yes, sir. Right. Calm me down. Five. One. Uh, oh, oh. Down, down. Three. Two. two one. one. Go. Oh. <laughs> oh. Summoning the, the ghost of Newton himself. So very good. Very good. Uh, come on our hand for the brave spirit of Moisette. Sustaining third degree burns in the name of Dying. Very good, very good. <laughs> Do we have to fix the computer? You can wait. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that was a cloud. So, yeah, yeah this is uh, uh, so just the way clouds form, right? Rapid expansion, um, just like the clouds above us. So in a lot of times, the water freezes right away, and as you saw, the liquid nitrogen uh, uh, turns to gas right away. Okay. So we're going to switch gears. Speaking of uh, Isaac Newton, we'll uh, we'll do another. Uh, we'll do some demonstrations around him, uh, around his ideas. So Newton had three ideas, right? So does anyone? Can anyone name Newton's first law of motion? Okay, very good, very good. I, I hear some people getting uh, bits and pieces of it. Uh, so Newton's first law says that objects resist the change in motion, right? So we have a nice table set up here. We have a, a tablecloth uh, ready to go, the surviving banana. And what we're going to see is if Moises can remove the tablecloth without removing the dishes. If the dishes break, that, that will truly be horrible. So, uh, so are you ready? Are you ready, Moises? <laughs> if you're ready, so so let's see. Uh, it's always good guess. Is this going to work? Uh, works uh, most of the time. So when uh, you're ready, we'll do it on three. Okay, ready? Help me out. Uh, help me out. Giving Moise a little enthusiasm here. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I think he's uh, still recovering from the burns. Uh, this time. This time. Ready? One, two, two three. three. Oh. <laughs> oh! Hey, you, you can Google, you can Google and find out people pulling tablecloths. And only UTP do you find the behind the back, between the legs, uh, tablecloth pool. So that's uh, copyright UTP. Uh, so, so don't do that without our permission, please. Uh, so very good, very good. Uh, we have some prizes to give away. Uh, so so uh, a lot of you kind of know Newton's Laws, right? You know about Newton's Laws. But uh, yeah, here's one that maybe you don't know. And... Uh, the, the question is when, Isaac Newton, uh, one of the 
one of the main giants in physics. When, what day does his birthday fall on? What day does his birthday fall on? No, no, like the dates, like the dates, right? So does anyone know the date of Newton's birthday? They didn't teach us in physics. Whoa, 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 here's one you should know. Google it. A clue, a clue. Okay, a clue, here's a clue. The, the, there are no physics classes held on Isaac Newton's birthday. Oh my gosh, I heard the answer here. I heard the answer here. Can you say it? December 25th. Oh, that's it, that's right, very good. Isaac Newton's birthday, December 25th. Amazing, amazing. Now you know that, so very good. Enjoy, uh, enjoy your prize. Very good, very good. Okay, okay. All right. So, I will turn.